Okay, so to start, I'm going to do this video on uh, how to calculate what you need in a class to pass, and I'll change the numbers in a minute, uh, but right now I just want to work with what I have on the board so you see where I'm going with this. Uh, this is uh, somebody who uh, has an A- minus right now, uh, maybe looking to try to get an A in the class, uh, but there's uh, maybe a reason that they wouldn't want to get an A. Well, they'll want to get it, but I'll explain what I mean. So first of all, we're actually going to start with the points possible. Uh, so in this class, they have four exams of 100 points each. Uh, they have seven quizzes of 40 points each. So four times 100 makes 400. Seven times 40 makes 280. And they've done that so far. And that's 680 points possible so far in the semester. But the final exam is 200 points, about a little less than a quarter of their grade for a total of 880 points. Okay. So what's their grade now? Well, on the exams, they totaled them up and they got 350. And a lot of times the software will do this for you uh, in your classroom or you're in your learning management system. And then on the quizzes, they did really well. They got 270 out of the 280. And we don't have a final grade. So we have a total of 350 plus 270 to make 620 points. So this person has 620 over the 680 uh, possible. Okay, so if we look over here, we can see that we have earned over possible. We'll give you your current score, 620 over 680, which is 91.17. So this person's doing really well. They've got an A minus. Maybe they're worried that they're going to uh, lose their A or not get an A. And what we want to do is we want to say, okay, well, let's look at the scenarios and see what they need to get an A, a B, and a C. And we're assuming that you need a 0.93 to get an A, a 0.83 to get a B, and a 0.73 to get a C. So an a, a minus would be anything less than 0.93, a B minus under 0.83, a C minus under 0.73. And this is really important because a lot of places will call this the cutoff where if you get a C minus, this won't transfer to another college. Uh, so this tends to be a really important one. Uh, but sometimes this 0.8 something tends to be an important one too. Uh, it's very recent that colleges have said you need an 82% or an 85% or some arbitrary number to pass. And I understand what they're saying. They're saying that based on that score, and it's not really arbitrary, what they're saying is based on that score in the past, we've noticed that our professional students have graduated and passed this, the licensing exam. So they're saying that that number is important to them because if the person doesn't get that number, their likelihood of passing and getting um, the board certified uh, goes down dramatically. Okay. So let's go back to these numbers though. So if you need an A, you need 818.4 total points including what you've worked on, so the two exams, the quizzes, and then a final, which we haven't taken yet. To get a B, you need 0.83 times 0.880. To get a C, you need 0.73 times 0.880. Okay? And these are called cut scores. A cut score is the cutoff. Okay? So everything over and equal to 818.4 is an A. Over and equal to 730.4 is a B over an equal 642.4 and a C. And this is programmed into the computer usually uh, to calculate you know, what the grade is and then it'll give you a letter grade as well. Okay? But that doesn't help you right now because right now what you want to know is well I don't have any space in the computer to put in uh, what if scenario. So that's what we're doing is making sure you can do the what if scenario. Okay, so how do we figure out what the points needed to get a certain grade are? It's the cut score minus what you've earned. So 818.4 is the cut score for an A. Remember, we multiplied the 0.93 times the 880. The cut score for a B is 730.4 minus 620, the earned, and then 642.4 minus 620 uh, for the C. So someone who has an A minus going into the final, where the final is a little less than a quarter of the exam, to get an A, they have to be almost perfect on the final, 198.4 divided by 2, I think it's easier to understand percent, but you can see that percent, they need a 99.2% to get an A in the class. Um, 
But what do they need to get a B in the class? They need a 55.2%. And what do they need to pass the class? An 11.2%. So if this is a multiple choice exam uh, with, and let's say there's five options for each one, mathematically, and it's just saying that we're having an equal distribution, they would get a 25% by just putting C or something like that. Um, and so this person is relatively assured of passing the class. And so when would someone like this not want to get an A? Well, let's say this is their best class, but let's say in another class they might fail it. And failing that class might mean that they have to repeat an entire year. It may make sense for them to not study for this class at all and to put all of their study time to make sure that they pass that other class because if they don't, then they're in a lot of trouble. They have to repeat the whole year. That's a complete mess. Okay, so that would be a, I don't want to say it's necessarily rare because uh, we've found that in professional schools, they tend to have cutoffs at around C or B. And that means that your goal is not to do the very best you can in each individual class. It's to do the very best across the board, making sure that you pass every single class. Okay, so that was an example with an A student or an A grade. I hate to say A student. So let's just change the numbers up a little bit. And uh, so 400, let's say that we have a student that has a C. So we'll do 0.7 times 4. They only have 280, and I'll change it to red here so we have some contrast. On their exams, and let's say on their quizzes, uh, they also, uh, let's say they do a little bit better on the quizzes. Uh, the 280 is kind of a weird number. Um, so let's say they're around a 200 instead of a 270. Okay. So now we change this number, which is their total, to 480 points. Okay. And we're going to see what changes. None of this changes. It's just the possible. It doesn't change. What, what's possible doesn't change at all. What does change, however, is our current grade. So the earned is now 480 over 680. So this 480 over 680 is going to give us a certain percentage for their current grade. But again, we don't even really care about that. What we care about is what's the grade going to be, what, what are the points that I need? So again, the cut scores don't change. Cut scores don't change because they're tied to possible. So these two parts don't change at all. Okay. However, points needed do change. Okay. So if we look at this, our green box, the number earned, this goes down to a 480. Okay. So we went from 620 to 480. which is going to change our points needed completely. Okay. All right. And so now we have 818.4, which is going to give us some, I want to say 338.4. Okay. And then 730.4 minus 480 is going to make, um, so I'm looking at 553. 250.4 and now 642.4 minus 480 I'm looking at 20, 120, 162.4 well what in the heck does that mean? Okay, these are both over 200 so this person cannot get an A cannot get a B and now we're faced with the proposition of, well, what do they need just to pass the class to get a C? 162.4 divided by 2 equals 81.2. Okay. So in essence, they need a B on the final to pass the class if they have these scores. And you can mess with these scores all you want. But what I'm trying to tell you is that this number is not nearly as important 
as these numbers, okay? What we care about is not the current grade, but we care about what the grade is that we need uh, to get on the final, okay, uh, to pass the class. So two scenarios, an A student uh, or an A, uh, someone who has A minus grades going in, uh, and then someone that has uh, closer to C grades going in, um, and uh, hopefully this helps you kind of figure out where you're at. But again, it all depends. If you're looking to try to get the best grade possible in each class and you had infinite time, that would be great. But most people don't have that. And when you don't have uh, all the time in the world, uh, sometimes you have to make some of these trade-offs. So hope this helped.